Hello everybody. Welcome to Timucua. This is our living room. So who's here for the first time? Oh, welcome, welcome. So we hope that you feel at home here, uh, that you feel welcome and that you feel like you belong because that's what we try to do. And of course, we would like to succeed. <laughs> we, we hate to fail. And so, um, so this is actually our living room for real. This is our dining room. We live here. Um, my wife, Helen, is in Scotland right now. But, uh, but we have our volunteers are here. My two sons are here helping out. So we have Wendy. Is a vo it, what? Yeah, yeah, I put, more, I put more in. There's another one there. There's another one there. Now that's taken. I've, I've taken some ch new chairs out. So there's more time. E everybody has a seat so far? No? no? You're missing a se some seats? Yeah. Okay, how many? Eight. One? One more. One more? Upstairs? I can try to do that. And there's one here down there if you come. You got one free there? You got one free seat right there? Any more free seats? There's, there's one there, there's one there. Yeah, Charles Edouard? Hey. Yeah, tell Charles Edouard to come and fix that, okay? Thank you. All right, so sorry about that. I just want to make sure everybody has a seat so my son will fix that. We have more chairs. We may have to squeeze a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, very soon, we're going to get new seating. It won't happen again. It will be more flexible. So, <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. So, let me explain what happens. This is concert number 845. It's, a it's actually the second number, 845. I, we have two because my numbering was done. I said, I'm not changing it. We had a new event added. <laughs> I'm not changing it, so it's 845. It's like 846. But we've been doing this for almost uh, uh, 19 years. It will be 19 years in uh, September. And uh, we are the premier, I think, uh, chamber arts organization in Central Florida. And it was not designed like that. At the beginning, it happened because it, there was a need for it, as you can see. And uh, so we. It just grew on its own, and we let it grow, and that's what happens when it happens. We've been here 12 years. We designed and built this house. Uh, Charles was about this high when we started. We built the house, but he was helping. He was the one uh, cutting the wood that we put it here, and then I was on the scissor lift, and uh, my wife was giving me the planks, and it was teamwork as a family. There are 11,000 nails in this room alone. I know that because I'm the one who put them on in, so... I know exactly uh, how many nails there are. So um, we have an organization called the Timucua Arts Foundation. Whoops, the sign is behind the easel there. But, um, and so we have a nonprofit of 51C3. If you're interested in helping, becoming a member, you can become a member at many different levels. Uh, you can be a, a, a major sponsor. You can be a, a business member. The next business member will get this painting or another one of our collection. Uh, but I want to draw your attention uh, well, first of all, let me just tell you that we have raised so far this year $120,000, which is more than we raised all of last year, or just about. Um, we have still uh, $29,000 to raise before July 1st. So if you know people who have the means and are interested in helping, we need help right now. But it's going well. It's, it's going well. It's just that we want to make it to the finish line on July 1st. Um, so having said that, we have two more events before I leave for, uh, for Scotland myself. And uh, this is Saturday afternoon. We have a, a piano duo team, a uh, mother and daughter team from Russia originally. They live in, the, uh, in Florida now. Um, but that's going to be very cool, 2.30 in the afternoon. And it's $5 for adults and free for kids. And the next ones after that for a Saturday afternoon, uh, matinees, uh, are going to be pay what you want as the our Sunday nights are. And, um, so I also want to attract your attention to the other, except for this one there, everything else is by Henri Truven. Henri Truven is the artist right here. Yes, nice round of applause. She was our very first uh, month-long residency she did, and so this, tonight is the last night. And then on next Sunday, we will do an opening reception for Wanda Ortiz, who's 
going to be our next artist for the month, uh, for next month. And so um, it was. It's been a very uh, an interesting experience for us to have, the, and as for the audience, if you saw her more than once, because of course the artwork changes and because the music changes, and it's very interesting. I think. Uh, hopefully, and I think you said that uh, it was very interesting for you, so I think it's a good formula. We're going to keep doing that uh, that way instead of having an, a, a different artist every time. So if you're interested in buying some art, we don't keep a commission. She keeps all the money, and the small ones are $400, and the big ones are $600. And she brought the new piece in the lobby. There's two pieces in the lobby, too. You want to see the same scene with a different light, and so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so Orit, Orit is going to get going. Oh, yeah, I've got my, my whole spiel to do. So you have a cell phone, right? I don't have mine because uh, Benji has it. So this is a cell phone. Please make sure it's on silence and, uh, uh, or silent and also uh, that the flash is disabled. Okay, you don't need the flash. You can take pictures and share them on Instagram, but as you see, the lighting is good. And I'm filming this and I'm recording. There are microphones right here and all throughout the stage. And so you don't need to record the whole thing. You don't need to film the whole thing. I'm filming it for them, no problem. You can do like a five second video to put on, on uh, Instagram, that's fine. But, um, but you don't need to film the whole thing. Because you know, especially the first row, we see you on these two cameras there, you're part of the show. And so if you have your phone the whole time like this, it's like, oh man, I try to get, I have, I have to use the other angles more, you know? So uh, anyways, we have, uh, if you have a wine glass, keep your wine glass for the whole evening. And when you're done, before you leave, uh, make sure you bring it to the bar so that I don't have to go hunting for, for wine glasses. That would be very nice. And we have a new trash system, okay? So we are going trashless and um, basically uh, no more single-use plastics uh, either. So no foam, no plastics. <laughs> so that means that your cutlery that you're using right now, that is compostable, okay? It's corn, it's made of corn. And so uh, your plate, your food waste and your plates and everything else goes in the first bin, the blue bin, and the black, well, it's band, there's a blue band, and the black one is for recycling. So for plastics or paper, you can put that, uh, or glass, you put that in this, the, uh, the black bin, okay? So thank you so much. Now we are ready for some music. Are you ready for some music? All right. Oh, yeah. If you if you love the band, they have uh, CDs for sale also. But uh, if you love the band, this is a fish bowl that was converted into a money bowl. And so uh, just put more money in there. If you love it, put more money. We love your money. We love you more, but we need your money. All right. Members? I said members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have board members here. We have members here. It's wonderful the help we get from you. Like, this is it. Okay, I'm going to just say one last thing before the band comes in. When you give like $1,000 to a, this big organizations that everybody loves, it's like a drop in the bucket. You give $1,000 to us, it's a huge part of our budget. It makes a huge difference, a big impact. And all of we're efficient, we're small, we're flexible, we're efficient. So most of the money that we get goes right back to make, to give you a better experience in the future. And so better programming, better seating, better everything, okay? So we put our money, we've always put our money where our mouth is, right? This is the proof, you know? <laughs> I built this house for you. And so uh, trust us, like we will use your money wisely. All right, now you're ready for music. I'm ready for music, I've talked too much. Please help me welcome the Daniel Hiron Trio. So thank you guys for coming. For me, it's a pleasure to be here with my trio. Um, my name is Daniel Hiron, and I'm going to be playing the guitar for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show.
Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you. This this song is uh, was called My Roomba. Is a uh, that was a composition of, of a friend of mine. Um, he's a pianist, so uh, he, I saw him playing in Facebook someday, and uh, I was so interested in his composition, so I called him and I asked him to pr the permission to do the recording, and he was willing to do it. So I did the recording. This song is in my fr in my latest album. Yeah. So next song is called uh, Shadows of Blue.
Thank you. Next piece is called Liber Tango by uh, Argentinian composer Astor Piazzolla. We did a rendition of this. Uh, we, we put a little flamenco touch, rumba flamenco, on the tango piece.
next piece is uh, it's, uh, one of my compositions. It's uh, called uh, May in Barcelona. Yeah, I composed it one time that I was in Barcelona with some group of musicians, and we were talking about uh, music and drinking beer. So <laughs> that was uh, an exciting night. So I came so inspired from Barcelona. I made this tune.
Next piece uh, is called Bossa Pati. It's a Bossa Nova rhythm. Next piece, well, I, di I didn't bring my, my playlist, so, he has it. so he's I telling me what's next. <laughs> I'm the only one reading, you know? <laughs> so next piece is called Seventh Road. This uh, 
is my own composition and I name it Seventh Road because when I was in college in Colombia studying classical guitar, um, I used to go into the buses to get some money, you know, for like here on the subways and all that. So I used to go with a friend, with a, he's a flute player, so we used to play together in the buses, so we ask permission to the driver to get into the bus and then we talk, hey, we are music students and we're gonna play something for you, if you can donate something, will be good. So that, uh, our, our route was in Bogota uh, on the seventh road, so we, we used to go north and south, north and south on the seventh road in our breaks. <laughs> yeah, so this piece is called Seventh Road.
we're gonna we're gonna play it. <laughs> no, no. The, this, this is it. <laughs> uh, the next piece is called Agua de Beber, and it's a Brazilian tune by Jobim. So we're gonna do some more Brazilian music.
to check my tuning. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> next piece is, um, is a composition by Chick Corea. Uh, it's called Spain. But uh, Spain has a part of the Concierto de Aranjuez, which is a, is a piece by Joaquin Rodrigo. He's uh, the original composer of Concierto de Aranjuez. So we're going to do Spain and Aranjuez. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Mr. Mauricio Rodriguez on the upright bass. Mr. Ivan Avila on drums. Thank you. Next piece is called Hoja de Nogal. The name is in Spanish and means uh, a leaf of a walnut tree. Why? I name it that way because uh, when I was in Bogota in college, uh, the pedagogic university was the university where, where I used to go, uh, but the uh, music uh, school was separate from, from the, the, the rest of the campus. So the, the music um, school what was at this neighborhood called El Nogal, which is a nice neighborhood in Bogota. So I think I'm a, a leaf of a Nogal, which is the walnut tree. <laughs>
Uh, next piece uh, is a rumba flamenco um, style. It's called Andalusian Glow. I composed uh, this piece when I was in Spain, uh, in the south of Spain, which is called Andalusia. Um, so uh, I was having some vacations in Cordoba, Granada, and Sevilla. And actually, I took some lessons from, from a guitar player over there. He taught me some nice, nice stuff. So this is called Andalusian Glow.
Mr. Mauricio Rodríguez. Iván Ávila. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> he's telling me what, what to play. <laughs> okay, uh, so next uh, piece is Prisma, is the name of my latest album. Uh, I called it uh, Prisma because uh, when, when, when a light passes through a piece of glass, through a Prisma, yeah, makes some colors. So I, um, I had this idea of, and I always think that music is like a combination of sounding colors, right? So, um, so I called it Prisma. It's a rumba flamenco also. It's slower. <laughs>
Okay, we're gonna finish the show with a piece of uh, one of my favorite guitar players in Spain. Uh, his name is Vicente Amigo, and the piece is called uh, Three Notes to Say I Love You. Thank mm -hmm. you. 